So um, uh, it is a tough meeting, and when uh, the World Championship's on the line, nobody's going to give it to you. You've got to earn it. Poland uh, were the strongest team through the first 21 races. Their qualifying heats, 36 points. That was clear, but uh, now sudden death over four laps. And you've got to say, that they'll be a little bit cooler, won't they? Will that be a, a disadvantage or an advantage? Because the Czech Republic have been racing in every race. Yeah, They're going to have three on the spin. The Czech Republic, you know, they've had to go through the extra race. They've got the adrenaline flowing, the blood flowing. Um, I don't think it's any bad thing for them to have... Uh, you know, just, just had these three races on the trot, to be honest. I mean, obviously, it's difficult. It's a warm night. The machinery suffers a little bit. But i uh, got to say, Raphael Dabrucki in that interview, looking a little bit more confident and a little bit uh, less nervous than he did on Wednesday. Oh, I say that with a last chance qualifier there for the Polish team. But um, he knows at the very least his team is going to pick up a silver medal. So we've got... Uh, uh, Miskoviak going off the inside in the red helmet colour. Here we go. Jakub Miskoviak in red off the inside. Matthias Jeniak coming out of gate three in blue. Pietro Schulpak will come out of gate number two in white. And Jankovic will go from the outside in yellow. This is it then. This is when the World Championship is decided. Four laps to see who's going to be crowned. The world champions of Speedway of Nations number two for 2022 here in Voyans. What a night of Speedway we had. What a week of Speedway we we're enjoying. It really has been a festival. And one big race to go tonight before we move on to the Speedway of Nations final tomorrow. And uh, can't wait for that. But there's no doubt that this is a big shootout. And the Czech Republic have ridden out of their skins this week. They really have done fabulously well worked so hard to be in the position they're in now they've given themselves a chance uh, to stop poland's run of eight making it nine consecutive wins in this competition and i uh, gotta say poland do start this race as favorites the yankovic has been in spectacular form yeah you will need some support from short pack of course i just fancy the poles i just think the pairing is just that little bit stronger than yep. the czech republic yep. short pack possibly slightly slightly vulnerable here but uh, nonetheless he's still ridden very well in the heats in the last two outings everything possible everything on the line this is what it's all about this is what these boys live for what they dream about winning gold medals so here we go the grand final green lights on tapes are away Skoviak's made a superb start but it's Czech Republic coming into second and third no doubt about that with Sjeniak out the back. He's pushing hard, really hard on the inside of Schulpeck. And then Jankovic around the outside. Oh, my goodness gracious me, have we got a shock on the cart here? It's Goviak out in front. Jankovic coming on even stronger, really fast in second place. And Sjeniak looking for a way past Schulpeck. Drama here in the grand final, Miskoviak out in front. We've got two battles going on here, and either one of them are going to make a massive difference. Oh, oh nice. it's up. That's Drama. So disappointing. Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. scenes there. You've got to feel for sure, Pack. The bike just packing up at the crucial moment. Into the last lap, Miskoviak out in front. And it looks like Poland are going to make it nine on the spin, and they're going to retain their world championship. Round the last corner. Miskoviak out in front, he's going to start celebrating now, Kevich, but Poland are the world championship winners here in the Speedway of Nations to, in 2022 in Voyans. Fabulous performance from them, you've got to feel for Schulpeck and the Czech Republic there. That really was poor timing with the problems with his bikes, but congratulations to Poland. Yeah, Poland topped the score chart, deserved the win, but you've got to feel for Schulpeck. He was doing his job, he was doing a fantastic job, riding a great line, and then he packs up. So uh, that's nine on the so, bounce for Poland. So very close to a really dramatic win for the Czech Republic. Uh, they'll still uh, pick up a silver medal, and it's been a great week for them and a terrific effort from their youngsters. Yeah, cracking stuff. Miskovia comes off the inside. Great start. Slupak now, he works hard in that first turn, gets back across, claims that third place, all-important third place behind Jankovic, who was charging hard up front to try and do something about Miskovia. And then on that final lap there, he's just packing up. Can you and, believe uh, it? Oh, unbelievable bad luck. They had it sewn up. They had indeed, but uh, it turns out that a little bit of good fortune for the Poles sees them through to their 15th title at under-21 level. They really are the country that produce so many young superstars and uh, their reign at the top at this level continues. Yeah, the other countries around Europe and the world have got to look at 
how they're producing these kids because they are dominant at this level. They are indeed. They've always put a lot of emphasis on it. It's been something that they've been very keen to do well in and uh, it's produced remarkable results and there's no doubt that Shenyak, you've got to say they've done it the hard way because they lost that rider, Prashemik, Prashemsky, excuse me, so early on, but uh, they've come back and done the business. Barca Schmarzlik clearly delighted. It'll be a boost for the whole team, the senior squad as well, won't it? It will, yeah, they'll go into tomorrow evening uh, having witnessed this and having seen the battle they put out there and uh, they'll want to do exactly the same. So, Poland pick up the gold medal here this evening. Czech Republic in second place, silver medals for them. And Team Great Britain finishing in third place will have bronze. So there we see the result of the final. Jakub Miskoviak out in front, Matthias Jeniak in third. Six points for them, just the three points for Jankovic and the Czech Republic. Got a feel for Schulpeck with that uh, problems to the equipment yeah, at a vital moment in the race. Devastating for Schulpeck. Um, done the job done the job that he had to do just picking up that third place would have been enough so uh, so I, disappointing I, for Czech Republic and you've got to believe that they did the right thing with the gate pick Absolutely. they did everything right yeah.